Good afternoon um, and welcome uh, to African American History Resources in Discus. Um, I am uh, checking here to see um, we had a good uh, registration for this session and I do want to encourage you to use your um, tools there on the top right uh, of the software. You uh, are welcome to type in any questions that you may have as we go through this. If there's a specific content question you're looking for, uh, or if you're wanting to know anything about, uh, in addition to what I say, as far as any kind of download, delivery, those kinds of questions, um, we uh, I'll be glad to um, answer those as we go. Um, we do want to cover uh, a lot in our Discus resources primarily, but also I want to feature for you our Study SC uh, platform that the State Library, particularly uh, Jessica Ogburn here in the Discus office, has um, has worked diligently uh, to, to really provide rich resources there as well for South Carolina um, in particular, but uh, especially highlighting our uh, African Americans in South Carolina as well. So I have a few slides here to start us off and um, I am going to go live. Uh, with some, I, I discovered that some is better just to kind of tell you on slides and then I can actually go in and demo uh, as we go there. So we do have the whole gamut of K through 12 resources um, and our um, Britannica f library for public libraries specifically. Um, obviously, I can't um, actually um, cover everything in this one session, but I'm hoping that I'm going to give you some search tips and ideas uh, to, to be able to highlight these resources, especially for Black History Month. Um, this is our electronic resource staff here currently, and you are welcome to reach out to any of us if you have questions along the way. So for a breakdown of the African American resources, I'm going to first take you into some background uh, research options that you have uh, for overall topics, figures in African American history. We're also going to look at some video image audio files and those are really uh, throughout the resources that you're going to be able to find specifics there. And then the informational text uh, resources that you're going to be able to find uh, good information, again, K through 12. Um, also, um, looking at uh, different African Americans from literary aspects, historical aspects, uh, etc. Um, so just to kind of give you a flavor, uh, the, uh, some good background research can actually start in our Credo reference database. And uh, one of the features within that database is our mind map search. And I'm going to show you, uh, again, in a live demo, but I just wanted to point out to you some of the things that you can see along the way to kind of help your students if they are starting out with a topic and they really, they've heard of uh, maybe a phrase about it or key figures in it, but they really don't know um, a lot of the background and details. Our Credo Reference collection has over 800 reference materials uh, total in it. And you, as you can see here on the right, the list that comes up uh, from, um, uh, from various reference books uh, is also uh, available when you do a mind map search, but you can also click on any one of these sub concepts within the topic and then pull up additional resources there. So that's one place that you can start um, to kind of get background information on people, events, uh, etc. Um, the next piece of Credo Reference that I wanted to point out is you can do topic page searches. Uh, obviously, you can do your keyword search that's going to search anywhere, but your topic page search is actually going to give you a very full and um, uh, com uh, comprehensive overview of a topic. And then on the same page, it will break out any related images, 
um, the mind map that goes with it and also um, it will lead you to additional resources in Discus with a search in Credo Reference. And then I also want to tell you whenever the students are starting out with a background or if you are working in a public library and you are um, perhaps working up some activities for Black History Month, uh, if you're in a li uh, school library and doing the same or if you're supporting your teachers, the, um, your, the ability to search across multiple databases in Discus uh, through our Smart Search and our Discus Kids which are located on our main page. Those are going to be great places to start to get uh, background information as well. In fact, here with the Smart Search, the very first uh, one that appears is the Research Starter. And uh, that can be true for movements, events, figures, uh, as well as people here. Um, and you will also have options on the left that I'll show you in a moment to be able to filter those results. So obviously we've searched here by subject on Rosa Parks and you can see that there are over 3000 search results total. Um, and so with that in mind, just as you do a Google search, we're going to want to be able to show our patrons and utilize ourselves those uh, filters that appear to the left in your EBSCO databases um, so that you can actually filter through those 3000 pretty quickly uh, to narrow down uh, um, the information that you're seeking. Uh, this is also searching across multiple databases with our Discus Kids interface. So Smart Search is more for about um, your sixth, seventh graders on up through adults. Your Discus Kids are more for your younger set, obviously, your uh, kindergartners through about fifth grade. Um, and you will notice that the interface is more streamlined. Um, but I will also point out to you ways that they can also limit um, by the filters as well. Notice when you do a search uh, with either of these two interfaces that we provide, um, you do have options to pull up full text and full text PDF. So full text HTML will just obviously be the website and then the full text PDFs will typically be those uh, actual articles that are scanned in so they can see as it was published in in the magazine. Notice too at the end of each of these you have database listed for primary search at the top um, and then the database is listed for middle search plus. Those are also um, um, just re reminders that you are searching more than one database there. So I wanted to step back for a moment as we're talking about background searches particularly. I did want to point out studysc.org. Obviously you go to scdiscus.org for our platform, but the studysc platform um, is very easily laid out. The, the navigation is very simple for any of those users from children all the way through adults. And you will notice that we do have across the top uh, by grade levels, South Carolina people, counties, etc. Notice to the right, uh, we have the South Carolina people categories by uh, occupation. So more or less what they have contributed uh, into these different fields with artists, authors, educators, entertainers, etc. Um, and you can browse through those separate sections to locate African Americans that are featured in, in those areas. And you can also uh, look at extra links that we have. So if you scroll down be below those people categories, we also have um, outside links of notable African Americans and South Carolina African American history calendar. Uh, so those are two uh, outside web links that are excellent resources in addition to what we have to offer. But if we take a look at the study as C piece, notice to your left we have the grade level navigation where you can choose elementary, middle, or high school. And we have those broken out 
into uh, some great categories that uh, are very visual that young people all the way through adults can easily access information particularly in your elementary subjects like under culture we have a lot about the Gullah culture and the, the sweet grass baskets and the history there and you, you can also see they're broken down by subject so that's something that we'll go to live in a moment uh, to continue our overview after we move from our more sort of background information informational text is provided throughout uh, our database platform I just wanted to highlight some key areas today um, and I will show you a breakdown of, uh, of a handout that will help you also to guide you further uh, because obviously you're going to find out um, information in Science Reference Center and opposing viewpoints. There are going to be other um, types of images and information available in, in our other databases as well, but these will be the ones that we sort of focus on today. And then, of course, we have images and videos. Um, our premier video collection now is Learn360, which we acquired back in the summer. Um, and that's going to provide a lot of uh, both non-media and uh, multimedia uh, resources for you. Our 20th century historical videos are uh, actually a subset of our History Reference Center. And that is another place that you're going to be able to locate uh, images and videos. And then we will uh, talk too about additional resources. This uh, month coming up, we're going to have our Black History Month featured here from the Discus office. And we will be featuring uh, each Wednesday in February uh, South Carolina African Americans uh, that will be highlighted for their contributions in the state those will be each Wednesday and then throughout the week we'll also have other national figures highlighted on our Twitter and Facebook pages in addition I'd like to highlight this for both of you uh, in school libraries public libraries home schools uh, Gail is providing each day in February part of their hidden figures for Black History Month and um, I've listed out a couple of uh, the websites here and we are recording this so if you want to refer back to these you will have access to this video but also um, you can certainly share this out with your uh, other colleagues who would be uh, interested in it as well so I'm just going to quickly tell you how you get to our uh, uh, resources and stay contacted with us uh, because this is how you're going to get, you know, some of the latest news about acquisitions of new databases, changes in databases, new ways to search. We're doing a lot of searching tips now. So just as part of that piece, uh, this is where you would find those African American highlights that we're going to be posting from our Facebook page, our Twitter feed, and you're also able to go out to uh, our Contact Us page, uh, to find the Discus newsletter and Discus L listservs that you are certainly welcome to um, to join to get information in that format. So I'm going to actually go uh, back um, out of this out of this uh, slides for you for a moment uh, so that we can get back out and actually do some live searching. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up that uh, our Discus site here uh, so that I can go into a little more detail for you there. And I am uh, going to check quickly to see if there have been any questions uh, posted. Again, if something comes to mind, please, uh, that's the benefit of, of you all uh, taking your time to view this live, uh, is you can have some live question and answers there. So certainly, uh, if that's something uh, you want to do, just jump right in and I'll try to keep an eye out over there to make sure that I'm watching that. So, um, 
I wanted to uh, show you a couple of things that will help you not only with African American content, but also our other content here um, from our Discus site. I wanted to show you um, under training. Obviously, you know about the training calendar. You were able to uh, register for this session. We also have the recordings in our online archives, but we've added the training resources this year. Uh, that we're continuing to build upon and I wanted to point out to you specifically under subject and topical guides uh, we're going to be adding an African-American uh, guide specifically but I do want to point out these elementary and high school level guides and for those of you in public libraries uh, this is also relevant to you just by age group as well for children and adults but I wanted to point out that as I mentioned before we won't be covering all of these databases but these quick little uh, guides can give you some information about what the databases contain if you're looking for images if you're looking for um, you know, videos, you can see which of those databases include those formats and also which would be Google integrated for any of you who are using um, Google Drive and you want to be able to uh, to uh, quickly save articles and images. You can see which of those uh, are indicated there. Also, which um, are integrated with Google Classroom for those of you at schools. So I just wanted to highlight those tools for you in case you didn't know they were there, um, just for you to be able to use at your leisure. So we're going to look next um, at our, um, the first database that we're going to look at is within um, Biography in Context. And that's an obvious one to go to for people, uh, but I do want to show you from that list um, a couple of ways that you can search. Notice too, uh, from our A to Z list, a lot of people ask the question of, you know, why don't we have a link and an image? Uh, it is a very uh, different reason for each. The link is actually going to give you a little background information on the database. So if you're just curious about a database and wonder whether it's going to be a good place to direct a patron or for you to use yourself, the link will actually tell you uh, what the database kind of covers in a quick snapshot view. And then if you go back to the image itself um, and you click on the image itself, that is going to take you into the resource. Uh, so that's another way that you can get familiar with our databases there. Um, Gail is actually the vendor who is highlighting a lot of uh, the African Americans uh, through uh, their Hidden Figures program next month. And you can see here on their main page uh, that they have uh, African Americans here. And these are usually always here year round, uh, just broken out on the top. Um, but you can see that you can go to browse people here and select African Americans and also produce uh, a, a rather robust list of, of African Americans. And this can be a great place for you all to direct students uh, if, uh, if you're wanting them to maybe report out on different African Americans through the month. Also, uh, if you're working on your own programs, this is a great place to get information. And uh, you can also create cahoots if any of you do that, uh, those sort of online gaming sort of uh, um, um, programs and features. You can certainly gather information from Biography and Context for those types of uses as well. And you'll notice if we're just going in directly from a browse search, um, I'm going to click on um, Satchel page here just to show you. You are going to get informational text and you'll notice that that overview it, is usually very comprehensive. So uh, you're going to be able to get a lot of comprehensive information here through the biography and context overviews. You do have the option to send to Google Drive send to a Microsoft OneDrive for those of you who have patrons using that software. And then notice all the way at the top, if you sign in with Google before you start a biography and context search, you will be able to um, upload your 
sources to your Google Classroom or your Google Drive. And the same is true if you sign in with Microsoft first as well. That just sort of makes it a seamless delivery of your resources to put them in a place that, that is useful and easy to use for you. Um, I do want to highlight this feature as well. If you have students who are reporting out and they have pulled maybe several articles from different databases, one of the nice things about the Gale databases, including biography and context, kids info bits, and opposing viewpoints, is they have this great tool that where you can highlight and really organize your information and then save it to your Google Drive. So for instance, if I want this background information, I want to remember that this was a really good piece of this article. And then there's really not a whole lot else I want to use in the next few paragraphs. But then I do want to talk about this African American's contribution to his profession or his career. And maybe I want to highlight this as not necessarily just biographical information, but to do with his career. I can highlight that in a different color. And notice I can also create notes for it. So if I want to uh, say add this to presentation um, or uh, add to slideshow or anything that I want to make a, uh, a note to myself as a student, as a teacher, as a library patron, um, I can do that and save those. And at that point, anything that you I'm going to just quickly get out of the State Library's uh, one here and uh, try to pull up my um, I was going to try to actually get into my um, Google Drive, uh, because I don't have to go to that minute detail to you, but when you do send to Google Drive, if you're not already logged in, it will, um, you know, direct you to your account and you can sign in there and already have that up. Um, you can see that documents have been sent. So what actually sends to the OneDrive or the Google Drive? Uh, is it creates a biography and context folder on your drive. This article will be saved as a file and it will include all of my highlighting and all of the notes that I have added to it. So that's a really nice feature uh, for you all that are working in this database. So obviously you can browse by African Americans like I showed you here. Uh, you can also um, search just uh, within the um, search at the top. So uh, if I want specifically African-American and um, religion or African-American and I'll just see about World War II that is mentioned anywhere uh, in the context of the article, um, I will then get those uh, results. So again, you can get a, a little bit more uh, detailed with your searching. You can certainly browse, but you can also get a little bit more detailed and have any of those articles that contain those words about African Americans uh, within your search uh, also. Notice there are primary sources that are coming up here and uh, images, videos, audio as well. So if you have, you know, a biography of Maya Angelou and you want to find additional audio information, that is also part of biography in context uh, that you can see there. Um, I do want to also, um, I'll just pull up this image to show you. I do want to also point out that everything does have a source citation. So if students are referring or using video clips or they're using um, you know, some of these images that you, you certainly will be able to follow all of the copyright laws and um, avoid plagiarism by being able to fully cite all the sources that you see here. That's another benefit of your Discus platform, um, Discus resources. So I wanted to start uh, there. Again, uh, that, that's just a very rich resource. Um, I do want to point out there is an advanced search uh, as well within you, for your search options to find specific document types. So if you're only interested um, in primary sources 
here uh, that relate to African Americans. Uh, you can do just a general search there. You can highlight um, primary sources and then search just for specific types of information that are here. We've got legislation related to uh, African Americans. We've got speeches that are tied there to that. Um, some of the references within the topic overviews. Uh, so you can see uh, that, that that's also another uh, great feature within your biography and context and your other Gale resources as well. For any of you that are wondering, those uh, icons that you see at the beginning of the titles are content levels that, that are appropriate. And you can also see on the right, they give you the little schematic for those that are basic and advanced, et cetera, there. So I'm going to pause for a moment and see if there are any questions um, that have come arisen. Uh, I don't see anything yet, but again, uh, you're always free to do that as we go through these. And if you need to stop me, if you need me to repeat something, I'll be glad to do that. Um, also, so I'd like to take um, a, a moment here to um, go ahead and move into kids info bits because I want to show you even though it's also a Gale database uh, I'd like to show you for the younger uh, children who may not know to type in African Americans in World War II yet um, there is a lovely uh, guide uh, for students to be able to just move through a sort of hierarchy of choices here. So they could start with people, sports, et cetera, and sort of work their way through. So if I choose people here, um, I can go through again and look at scientists, artists, et cetera. But we can also, um, like if I click on historical figures here, we can still uh, break that down um, by categories also and students can look through and see that they find Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, um, some of the African Americans that are specific to those various aspects. So if they're interested in African Americans in sports or Af African Americans in politics and those kind of things, they can they can look at a list that is offered there as well. And what you'll notice is, um, for instance, with Malcolm X here, um, there's even a good variety of formats of information for the younger children um, so that they all in one place they'll have biographical information pictures magazines if there are any videos related uh, newspaper articles etc um, so they are going to benefit from those resources that are written more at their reading levels um, as well and again, all of the highlights and notes features apply. Uh, the ability to send to Google Drive and Microsoft apply. Um, and all of your citation information um, is going to yet be available there as well. Okay, so moving on from uh, the Gale resources, um, I did uh, do a little bit of a demo for you at the beginning uh, in my slides uh, to show you the EBSCO searching. And you can see here we have Discus Kids and Smart Search linked right from our scdiscus.org page. And you can do uh, the, a Smart Search search here. I'm just going to do Rosa Parks as my example on this one. Um, EBSCO was a little slow today, so it might take a minute for this to, uh, there we go, that's actually faster, spoke too soon. So you can see what this is the slide that I had before. Um, notice with a keyword search, I have over 100,000 results. So it's kind of looking like a Google search here as far as what I'm getting. I mentioned earlier in this uh, session that you can refine your search on the left. You can refine it by date. So we can just do like the last few years. If we want to do that, we can uh, revise the search that way. Um, you can also type the dates directly into 
uh, that uh, publication date search. Um, but one of the other uh, ways to actually limit that you can show your students, you can show your patrons, obviously is by subject also, because when we do a smart search uh, from that first link, we're actually conducting a keyword search. So it's looking for Rosa Parks anywhere in the title, in the author, in you know the subject headings, and in the full text. So it's sort of looking everywhere. But if we revise this search, and I'm trying to get it to load here, I think it's gone a little nuts on me. Um, if we revise it by subject, we go from um, over the, the over 100,000 results um, down to 3,000. So even though that's still a lot, we know that these are going to really be articles that really emphasize uh, Rosa Parks, and there's going to be a lot more detail. For instance, with my keyword search, it might have the article might have said, as opposed to Rosa Parks, and I talk about a whole different person, but just because Rosa Parks was a keyword, it would happen to come up. Notice all of these expanders and limiters on the left, in addition to your publication date. If I am um, only interested in a specific um, uh, type of format of information, if I only want Rosa Parks in magazines, I'm only interested in biographies of her, I can now limit that. If I'm only interested in the videos that are here, um, I can limit to those. Um, if I just want my primary documents, etc. So that's something that you can also show your patrons to help guide them through um, their search and go from that 100,000 down to just six pertinent ones that they want uh, specifically. So that's some really nice nifty searching perks that you have within the EBSCO smart search piece. Notice the related images are loading on the right um, also that are there and available. So again, that's more for your sixth grade, maybe even seventh grade on through adults. I do want to go back uh, one uh, click here, back to our Discus Kids, just to show you um, that although the uh, software is going to look very much alike, when you first do a search in the Discus Kids or Smart Search for Kids, you're going to find um, that um, you don't see the limiters, but I did want to point out to all of you uh, that those are still available. We had just sort of cleaned up the results, so if there are younger uh, folks trying to do research, they wouldn't just be overwhelmed with all of the options that we get um, using our smart search. So if you'll notice here on the left of the screen, the tiny little double arrows that we see uh, here on the left, if you click those double arrows in Discus Kids, you are going to be able to now uh, do some of the limiting. So if some of you have children who are, are you know, now on the upper grades of K through five uh, that, or, or those in youth services at your public libraries that you can start training them a little bit on how to narrow their searches more, that uh, those options are available there. They can just be toggled on or off with those double arrows. So I'd like to pull up uh, some of the other types of information that you can get here. Um, obviously, your History Reference Center is going to have um, a lot of good events and cultural history related to African Americans. But I wanted to pull up our Bloom's literature for you just to show you um, some of the things, uh, if you have those in schools particularly, or those of you that are working in public libraries and assisting patrons after school, this will be good for you to know as well, that there are a lot of breakouts of uh, literary movements, literary themes that can help you. Uh, certainly, you can do a direct search on uh, a particular African-American author, poet, playwright, writer, etc. Um, on, you know, on a particular play like a Raisin in the Sun. But I wanted to uh, show you the literary movements that's here under their resources uh, for you to be able to, 
to see this uh, section as well. Um, so if you're looking at um, the Black Arts Movement, the Harlem Renaissance, um, you can actually pull up groups of information about particular movements that can then lead you back to specific figures such as Zora Neale Hurston here. And when you get your results, you're going to be able to kind of tell what source the information is coming from for them. Uh, so we have African American literature and the Harlem Renaissance here. Just going to pull that up for you. Um, again, to see a very robust discussion um, of that literary movement, who were who was involved in it there. And you can also see the table of contents of the book this is coming from. So the resources actually um, in our series called Research Guide to American Literature, but they've broken it out by the section of American Modernism and then gone to the detail of the Harlem Renaissance. So that's something that you can get from your blooms. Um, I also want to show you these excellent timelines. If you are uh, talking about an African American in history and you want to really know what was kind of going on in the period during when something was written um, or that kind of piece, um, these timelines are great to really set uh, in motion for you uh, key books that were being published, key events that were happening during different years. Um, so that's uh, something that you also will find there in Bloom's literature. This has all recently been configured to work with mobile devices. So uh, that's why we're doing a lot more scrolling on the desktop. But you can also see uh, you have a variety of search options here um, in doing advanced searching uh, for some of the people. There are also some wonderful discussion guides. So if I just go in and do a direct search on Maya Angelou here, again, I'm just doing a broad keyword search here. I wanted to show you these tabs where you're going to get criticism of her works. You're going to, if there are any literary works available, they'll be here. Uh, there are a lot of classics that are within this database. Um, any images and timelines that are related to her life. So we have images here um, that students can use in their reports um, and be able, and also faculty and those of you that are doing cultural kinds of um, pieces. But notice again, we do have um, all of the documentation for where the source of those images are coming from. So if I click on citation, I'm going to see that here as well. So all of that is, is available there. Uh, you do have the option here to download the image and you can choose to either download it uh, to your Google Drive uh, once that loads, but we won't waste time waiting for it to load. Um, you can print it out or you can also save it. So that is one of our literature databases. We also have the Literary Reference Center that EBSCO uh, provides, where you're going to be able to find a lot more of rich uh, literary aspects of, of African Americans and what they've contributed uh, to those, those pieces. I'm going to do a quick pause and check for any questions that have uh, possibly been displayed. I see here um, a question and it is, um, will you show us how databases can work with Google Apps? Uh, will this webinar be archived so that it may be shared? Excellent questions. Yes, um, I've, I've demonstrated a couple of those kinds of uh, pieces with the Google Apps and I will also show you that in our Learn360. And yes, we are um, we are recording this and it will be available in our online archives. Thank you for that question or those questions. So that's a great segue into Learn360, which is a feature that I wanted to show you um, that we have now. Um, if you're looking in for particular events in history uh, related to African Americans, if you are looking for particular people uh, and you want to find information there, you can certainly search direct here at the top. 
um, for those of you who may be new to Learn360, the menu to the left is really great because you can just click on Browse Videos and be able to see all the major subjects that are included within this resource here. And you can see everything from education to world cultures. You can see African studies are here. Uh, world languages for any of you that have uh, people that are learning Spanish, French, etc. So this kind of gives you a snapshot view of what all you can find here um, within the sociology, African American studies that you see here, um, American history, etc. I'm going to just click on African American studies to show you um, once you are there, you can limit by age level, or actually more specifically by grade level, because this is really keyed toward the schools, this resource. Um, but you can also see a breakdown of subjects that are there um, within uh, videos on African American culture and history and special topics. If you're looking for something specific, like a lecture, maybe, that is a certain video type you're looking for, that limit can also be done there. And then finally, as I showed you in EBSCO, you can also search for just the most recent videos that are available on your subject. So we have some great footage and videos on the Negro baseball leagues here. Um, what Marian Anderson, Montgomery boycott. Notice there are 22 results, 220, I'm sorry, results that are sorted newest to oldest. You can certainly change that uh, if you want to uh, search, uh, sort by another way. But if I'm only interested in what is a, uh, appropriate for my third graders to fifth graders here, for instance, I can limit the videos there uh, that are going to be more on their level. Notice some of these are actually videos that are a part of another series. So if I uh, click on Harriet Tubman part two here, it will load the video for me and you're able to see how long that video is. You can see a little description of it. And you can also, um, with many of these, actually download the video so you're not having to use your own bandwidth to show it, which is a great feature. But to answer the question that was posed as well, there is the share to option where you can share it out to Google Classroom or if you want to share a particular link to a video to a faculty member or to another colleague um, or even out to a patron, you can also share it uh, via email, which will give them a link to be able to uh, view this. They would still have to log into Discus if they're from home or out on a, a mobile device. But those are some of the options you get within the video sharing piece here. Um, so I had just actually searched uh, via our browsing our menu, but again, you can also search um, on key figures and key events, um, videos here, um, and there are some that actually come up for you if you just want to see everything uh, on a person. Within that, you can do um, a quick search there. Notice across the top, it's going to give you any other formats as well. So we have videos here. Uh, if there are any audios, perhaps there's just something that was done with, within um, on, a, on NPR or a radio station. Uh, printables that are available, if there are any kinds of interactive activity sheets, fact sheets, etc. on your person or your event, they're going to be there. Um, a, a, just an excellent resource for images that we have here. And then their encyclopedia, it's not really the best, uh, but they do have uh, some current information in their encyclopedia entries. You can also get great encyclopedia information from your Britannica sources, as, uh, as many of you know there. So we're about uh, running into our, our time to finish this webinar. I'm going to look one more time to see if there are other questions. Um, I have, uh, great, a couple here. Let me see if I can open it uh, where I can view these better here. Um, let's see what we have. 
will this webinar be archived? We already answered that one. Um, our schools use Schoolology as a platform for teachers to load videos and assignments for students. Do we have permission to load links to Discus articles? Oh, we, you actually have permission to integrate uh, the Learn360 interface into Schoolology. Um, and that is something I can send you information uh, to Charmin. I will send you information in the in an email to follow up. Uh, that is something that you can integrate and actually let your students seamlessly search. But um, at this time, as far as when you are searching from the Discus platform, you can really only upload those to Google Classroom. But I will send you information about Schoolology. Schoolology, sorry about that. Um, checking to see now if there are other questions that I have missed. Um, okay, so that's all the questions there. Um, if if any of you uh, have individual questions or additional questions that you would like to see, um, I'd love to address those. And I'm just going to pull back up here our slide uh, for our contact information. So you are welcome to contact me if you have any kinds of content questions. Uh, Discus Office Help Desk if you're having any technical issues or you have additional questions really about anything. And Patricia Sinclair if you want to contribute any of your um, uh, opinions about sources you like, you don't like, sources you'd like to see, anything that, that as far as the management of the resources. And uh, then finally, um, I do want to share with you, we have a lot of great webinars that are uh, coming up. Uh, here's a brief snapshot of our training calendar. Um, and we would love to see you in some of those webinars as well. And at any time, you're welcome to give me feedback about what you like or don't like about webinars, about the time schedule, if it just does not work for you and you would like me to kind of start looking out at other times to offer. Any of those things, we just want to make this useful for you to save you time um, as you do your work. Thank you very much for attending today. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out there uh, and stop the recording.